Hey, my name is Eric. I'm a technician here at Sterilizer Autoclave Solutions. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the PM kit for the MBOS. This kit should be completed once a year or every thousand cycles, whichever one comes first. All right, today we're going to be talking about the PM kit that should be done on the MBOS once a year, uh, thousand cycles. Inside that kit, uh, there are two separate kits. Your first one is going to be your basic machine, which is going to be a door gasket, your valve two and five, your HIPAA filter replacement, along with your water inlet and a new tray. I'll talk about this kit first. Um, it should be done by a service technician. It is not end user friendly. Um, the first thing that would be changed on it is the door gasket. And I brought in three examples of why it should be done by a technician. Uh, you first have to remove the complete door from the uh, tray rails. Once you do that, you have to remove these two screws and separate this from your door plastic. From that point, you've got six screws that you would have to remove here to get to this point and then remove these four and change the door gasket. Now, it is important that when placing the new gasket in, that it is placed in the right way. Um, you're, if you look, you don't have a complete circle here at the top. This bottom part that is not complete should be facing in the downward position where these two screws that lock in your door plastic are. If you put it in backwards, your tray will not lock into place. From that point, once you complete your door, you would move to the back of the unit to re replace valve two and valve five right here. Here, you're gonna have to remove hoses in order to undo it from this locking position and turn this one in order to remove the two screws. These valves are very important when placing. They have a certain way to go. They are numbered two and one. I mark my two side in order to make sure that my direction is going the proper way. These two valves, two and three, the number two side should be going towards the heat exchanger your five valve reverses and your two should be pointed towards your chamber when hooking it back up. And when hooking these connections back up, you need to make sure that valve two is hooked and valve five is hooked in the proper direction. If you reverse them, you will have issues. Past that point, you're gonna have your water inlet back here in the back where your distilled water line plugs in. It's easy to remove with a 5 16 wrench and then you would uh, lock this one back down your HIPAA filter screws in the back. Once you have it set in place, you should only rotate it seven times. Rotating it and wrenching it all the way down will mess the HIPAA filter up and where it locks in. The main reason why they suggest changing your tray at a thousand cycles is these things are only designed to hold about a pound of material. And over time, they will start to warp and sag in a downward position and it will affect the machine's performance. So it is recommended that this tray be replaced every thousand cycles. That would complete the first kit that you have. Your second one deals with your vacuum. And once again, this is not end user friendly. As you see, I have a breakdown here. This is when it's completely put together up against the machine. You have to remove the four head screws along with these two head screws. And if you look, this one is original from the factory here and here also. And you would need this three headed screwdriver in order to remove the screws here that hold the plate and the vacuum valves in. You have a total of four, two on your upper side, two on your bottom side. Um, the reason why this is not end user friendly is for the simple fact these can strip out very easily and it's very time consuming to get them out without damaging the heads. Um, you can't replace these heads. If damaged, you have to replace the entire vacuum pump. Now, once you change those heads, you have two membranes here that are part of the kit that you have to uh, replace. They do have lock points with these plates, your kit includes new membranes and new plates, not new screws. So be careful not to strip them out uh, when trying to remove 
but when you put them in, you have to lock it in place, hold it down with your hand and make sure it's locked down in place before aligning your screw. If you don't do that and you go to run a vacuum, it will not run. The other part to the vacuum kit is the check valve right here. You're gonna replace it. The new ones come with a black che uh, check valve right here. The white ones are no good and should be replaced but you would align it in there as such and push this down all the way. All right, I appreciate you guys listening in today on what the PM kit includes. Uh, again, this should really be done by a service technician that has been trained to do such. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 704-966-1650, option three, our tech support line. Thank you and have a good day.